Hey everybody, Brian Boyle here and welcome to episode 87 of The Mesh Tongue. It's, uh, it's Tuesday and so it's a, it's a great day and hopefully the work week is going well for you. If you're off this week, then uh, hey, hopefully you're having a, a great week. I want to talk to you today about part two of the posterior tibialis or the tibialis posterior, whichever way you want to go with it. I know some people refer to it as the posterior tibialis and some of the tibialis posterior and people get all crazy. Um, don't get crazy, just understand where it is. Understand that the, um, you know, the muscle can be detrimental. If you're having pain, it can, it can really affect your running. And uh, you know, as, if, as some of you have commented already, if you're dealing with it, you know. You know that it, it, it can be bad. So I want to talk to you about part two, some of the exercises that, uh, that we can do for this and, uh, and hopefully get you feeling better. Uh, by all means, this is not to take the place of uh, uh, a professional that getting in there and, and soft tissue work or instrument assisted soft tissue work. Uh, some of that is really, really beneficial, uh, and I highly recommend it if, uh, if you're really in a lot of pain. I do it myself uh, on a lot of their patients that come in to see us. And so, yeah, by all means, it, uh, it is necessary sometimes. For those people that you know, say, ah, it comes and goes, it's not too bad, hopefully this helps you out. So, again, questions, comments, send those to Brian, B-R-I-A-N, at company5, the number 5K.com. I'd be happy to get those back to you. Now, without further ado, so what do I want to do? I want you to warm up, okay? Now, if you're in a lot of pain and your running is affected by this, then probably not running, okay, is the warm up. Uh, you know, think bike or elliptical, something non-impact. And when we say something, you know, just warm up. Get the muscles moving, get the blood flowing, and you know, especially if you're leaving your work or, you know, whatever, and you haven't been active all day. Um, if you're already active and you feel like you warm up, then you can, you know, kind of skip that part. But I generally encourage you to do some sort of active warm up. Uh, you know, low impact. What you'll want to do then, okay? Uh, and I forgot to take my shoe off, but uh, you know, since this is uh, this is me and you, we're just kind of hanging out here. Uh, you know, we'll we'll do this pretty quickly. So, the uh, the next thing that I encourage you to do is a calf stretch. All right. And when you're stretching your calf, again, hi. What I would encourage you to do, okay, is use a calf stretch board. Okay. The calf stretch boards uh, come in you know, lots of different shapes and sizes. This particular one uh, is highly adjustable. So generally speaking, when I stand up on it here, I like doing both knees straight. Okay, you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds per minute. And then knee bent as well. Remember, we've got two muscles in the calf, and two, those two muscles are the soleus and the gastroc. Uh, gastroc is working when your calf, uh, you know, or your, I'm sorry, your knee is straight, your soleus works when your knee is bent. Very important to remember those two, okay? So we'll stretch that out, 30 seconds to a minute, multiple times a day, you cannot stretch overstretch, okay, frequency-wise. Again, you can always overstretch, pushing too far into pain. But since most people's calves are really tight, it will affect the ankle joint as well, posterior tibialis, especially. All right, so the windshield wipers are next. Now, you've seen these in another video, okay? This is literally just taking a towel across, all right, and then pulling back. So these are called windshield wipers, ankle inversion, eversion. I like a kind of a low friction surface. The goal with this though, is that you're gonna try and create an arch in the foot while you're doing this, okay? So you don't want your foot just being floppy, okay? You wanna try and create an arch even if you don't have one. All right, so that's the key with this. This is what makes this different. Form is everything, all right? Make sure you start with an arch, okay? When you're doing this, don't let the foot collapse. So you wanna come kind of pull up. So this is kind of what we call these tenting exercises, okay? So if you have to kind of start off here, all right? But make sure that you keep that arch during this, okay? Don't let that foot get sloppy and fall apart. That's a big tip right there, okay? Next, what you wanna do is make sure that, you know, we're doing our towel crunches, okay? Again, you're gonna keep that arch, so this is just another opportunity to work on that arch and pulling up through there, okay? So nice and gentle, you'll set a timer for a minute for all of these. You can do one minute, you can do a second one minute, you can do a third one minute. The key with all of this is make sure that you're doing this consistently, 
okay? So we've got your towel crunches, your, uh, your windshield wipers. Next thing we do, I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit, is we do our seated calf raise. Okay, and again, the reason the seated calf raise is a little bit different, okay, is you're gonna just, tr you're gonna try and keep that arch in the foot, okay? So try and keep the arch in the foot as you're coming down. Don't let the foot fall over, okay? So step on the toes, keep that arch. Coming back down, you can take some weight and put that on top of the knee here while you're trying to work that. Again, it's gonna work soleus, it's gonna work stability. We think stabilization for the ankle. So this is one of the internal or medial stabilizers of the ankle. Be aware of this. Make sure that you're trying to keep that arch. If we can't, that's when we'll have to go and tape. So we can tape uh, either some KT tape or some strapping tape that, that you can kind of pull, start off here, pull up in this direction so it helps to create that arch for you. That works really, really well. I hate immobilizers, all right? I can't tell you enough. I'm gonna get right up in your face here. I hate immobilizers. Don't immobilize the ankle ever, unless you've got like a fracture, okay? Don't immobilize the, I'm gonna come at you, that's the, that's the thing, I was gonna adjust the camera, but don't um, ankle immobilize, you gotta keep these things moving, okay? All right, next, we're gonna do an ankle eccentric load. All right, so what you're gonna do is we're gonna take a band, and you put it around something sturdy. All right, I'm gonna help push the foot in, and then I'm gonna slowly let the foot relax. Okay, push the foot in. So I'm not using the muscle here, but I'm gonna help it stabilize. Okay, and then I'm gonna let it relax. Again, I'm still trying to keep that arch in the foot. I'm gonna push in. Okay, so my hand is coming over to help with this, and I'm pushing in. Letting that resistance relax. If I need more resistance, I can always just take it further. If I need less resistance, just come closer. But the key is to have enough resistance on there so that you have to slow the foot down. So I'm gonna push in, slow it down, okay? Push the foot in, slow it down. And then last but not least, now, this is a stability disc or a balance pad. If you don't have a balance pad, you can use a pillow. If you don't have a pillow, well, uh, I feel sorry for it, but now in all, in all honesty, if you don't have something like this, then don't worry. Okay, you don't have to have this. This is where I'd start off. Uh, something a little bit more advanced. All we're gonna do is we're gonna do a single leg stand on here. Okay. So again, the goal is we're trying to keep that arch here if you can. All right. So you're trying to think about lifting and pulling the toes in, creating that arch. We're gonna stand here 30 seconds to a minute. I always start off with the single leg stand for at least 30 seconds, okay? Your goal with the single leg stand is to get to two minutes. Um, so that's the only one that's different. Everyone else you're doing for a minute, sets of one minute, so one, two, three, okay, sets. Uh, the single leg stand, go 30 seconds to, you know, till whenever, but try and get to be able to stand there for two minutes without having to hold on and or touch. That's when you know you're onto something. So, questions? comments, leave those below. I'll be happy to answer them. Send those to Brian, B-R-I-A-N at company 5K. That's the number five. Uh, sorry for being like all up in your business there. Um, but hey, it is what it is. So keep those questions, comments coming in. And uh, this is episode 87 of The Mesh Tongue. It's Tuesday. I'll be back again tomorrow, Wednesday for episode 88. Thanks for checking in. And as I always say, share this with your friends, your family, your training partners. But whatever you do, don't go hurting yourself to come back. I'll see you again tomorrow. All right, take care. Oh, and check out runpainless.com. Check runpainless.com, very important. All right, take care.